So welcome back to another vlog. It is Saturday and Kelsey and I just got home back from Alabama from Thanksgiving. We actually just arrived from the store. We drove right to Publix to get some groceries because I really wanted to make some sweet potato pies. Thanksgiving food was delicious, but my mom made all my favorites that she usually makes. Well, all mine and Kelsey's favorite dishes that she makes except her pies. So we're gonna make them here. We're gonna make our own from her recipe, of course, um, because we always like to have sweet potato pie post Thanksgiving too, because it's only right. I always feel empty without sweet potato pie um, every season if they don't have it at our Thanksgiving dinner. So we're gonna make them. Yeah, I didn't even eat dessert this whole week because there was no pie. There was, but my mom didn't make it. Comment below if you're like that. Like it could be something that you really like at Thanksgiving dinner, but if your mom didn't make it, you probably not gonna eat it. <laughs> That's how sweet potato pie is for me, unless I make it from her recipe. So we're gonna do that today. And we're only gonna make two pies because it's just us two. And this is gonna be our second time making it. We made them last year, so hopefully they turn out just as good this year. And my mom had our pie last year and it was mom approved. She said it was really good and she said it was just as good as her so um that's a good sign so we're gonna do that today and tomorrow we're gonna go to the movies because we haven't gone to the movie since i think the barbie movie so we're gonna do that tomorrow um but for right now we're gonna watch the alabama auburn game roll tide comment below roll tide don't comment nothing else i don't want to hear nothing about no auburn <laughs> um, so yeah we're gonna bake we're gonna show you guys how we make the pies guys so it's Sunday the next day and Kelsey and I just got back from running a couple of errands we had to stop by Target because um, we're finishing up some Christmas decorations for our outdoor area obviously not showing that for obvious reasons our pies turned out really really good last night so really happy about that since it was our second time making them and it made a perfect amount for two pies so that worked out and today we're gonna go to the movies like I told you guys last night, but it's gonna be later tonight. We're gonna go to like a later movie like at nine. It's so gloomy out today. This is the perfect Sunday to go to the movies and it's not gonna be that many people out because I think a lot of people are going back to school and work tomorrow because Target was packed today. I know it's two days after Black Friday, but I thought a Sunday at Target would not be that packed, but it was, it was so many people at Target. But I wanted to share with you guys my Warby Parker at home try on kit today. 
for the month of November because I know some of you guys do wear glasses like myself and Kelsey and I wanted to share my favorites for this month of November. Usually I try like new pairs on but this month in particular I wanted to share with you guys my favorite pairs. So Warby Parker offers everything you need for happier eyes. They have eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. You can shop with them online or in stores. Glasses start at $95, including prescription lenses, sunglasses, progressives, and blue light lenses are also available. Warby Parker's home trial kit is super simple. You just answer a few quick questions online and Warby Parker will suggest some glasses to fit your face and style. Also, you can add a pair and save a pair. You get 15% off when you purchase two or more pairs of prescription eyeglasses or sunglasses. Try Warby Parker's free home trial program and get your perfect pair today. So this first pair, I actually already have these pairs. These are called the Chamberlain and I have these exact glasses. These are what I like to call my travel glasses. So these clear pairs, first of all, I love square shaped glasses and the Chamberlains are like some of my favorite ones. These come in like multiple colors, not just the clear ones. I keep these in like my little travel tote that I always uh, travel with. I like to keep a separate pair of like my prescription glasses everywhere. Like I have an at home pair, some car glasses, like for when I drive at night, cause I always need those at night. And then I like to keep these in like my travel stuff. So I won't forget my glasses wherever I am. And travel glasses are very essential, especially in the airport because that's one of the main places I would get lost. So glasses are a must for me with like all my travel stuff. So these are like my travel pair. So these are the Chamberlain's in clear. I really love clear glasses. I think they look super cute, you know, really original, not like your typical like brown or black, which I also love, but the clear ones just look a little cooler. These are also really cute. They're like a cheetah pair. These are called the Blakely's and they're a little bit rounder at the bottom. And I really like the shape because they look a little bit more feminine because of like the round lens. Super cute. And this is the color up close. If you guys can't tell what the design really looks like. I think the cheetah or leopard print is really cute if you guys are into leopard print. And I feel like Kelsey has a pair of these. These are called the Baird. I'm sure she doesn't have this exact pair, but the style she definitely has because I like the clear at the bottom with like the dark top and on the side. These are really cute too. I feel like these would um, go with a lot of people's face shape. I'm sorry if the lighting's changing. Like I said, it's such a gloomy day today, but these are super cute. And I think I want to get my prescription in these styles next. Like when I go back to the eye doctor, because I, I don't have any with this specific style, like with the clear at the bottom and like the opaque at the top. Love these. Okay, so those are my three favorite pairs. Obviously there's two other ones. You do get five pairs, but those are my three favorite pairs at Warby Parker at the moment. So I just wanted to share with you guys. So if you guys are interested in any of the glasses that I talked about, try Warby Parker's free at home try on program. Order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free for five days. There's no obligation to buy, ships free, and includes a prepaid return shipping label. So try five pairs of glasses at home for free at warbyparker.com slash glamtwintv. Try Warby Parker's free home try on program and order five pairs of glasses to try at home. Find a pair that is perfect for you today. Hey guys, it's later and Kelsey and I are getting ready to go to the movies. Just got done getting ready. I just put on some light makeup. And of course, I'm wearing my uniform, which is all black. But I'm trying to figure out what to wear over it because I really want to wear my new Zara jacket, this brown one that I really love. Um, so I'll probably end up wearing this one. It's really cold out tonight. Not freezing, but it's 40s. So from Urban Outfitters, I got a vest and a new coat that I've really been wanting to get. I used to have something similar a long, long time ago, like from Target, but not as nice as this one. But this is the vest that I recently got. And I know it looks weird with me holding it, but if you style it correctly, it's super cute and fashionable. And I really wanted to put together some cute outfits with it this winter. Okay, so I'm just gonna try it on, see what it looks like. So you guys can get the full effect. Okay, so it's like a really pretty dark brown. Has pockets, love a good pocket moment. And I feel like these vests are back and it's actually a trend that I like because I usually don't wear trendy things because I just feel like I'm not going to wear it again. But something like this, I feel like this can stay in my wardrobe for quite a long time. <sighs> Super cute. 
and it's super comfortable, which is the most important part. Love this. As much as I love like getting like glammed up and like dresses and stuff, I do love practical stuff like this because I'm not gonna lie, I was thriving in Paris, like getting dressed up every night. I loved it, but that was Paris. I'm in Georgia right now, so appropriate. So it may be too cold for just this tonight. Maybe it was like a daytime, like shopping day or something, I would wear this. I also just got this coat from Urban Outfitters. These are from the same brand called BDG is the name of the brand. If you guys are curious, the brand is BDG on Urban Outfitters. And I just typed in brown leather jacket and both of these items came up. So the vest and this coat, um, if you guys are curious. And this is super heavy. This is a nice coat. I think Kelsey's wearing something similar tonight and I don't want us to look like we're dressed alike. So I may not wear this one. Cute, right? Love this. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I love this coat. I love like the fuzzy, like soft material that this is next to the brown leather. Super cute. This feels like a blanket. Like I said, it's gonna be perfect for the winter and it's all the way through here which is important because I can't stand when jackets just have like the look, look of something warm, but it's actually not warm. That means it's cheaply made. However, this feels like great quality. It's like foamy, like this leather is super thick. I'm obsessed. So I love my coat and the vest. I still think I might wear my leather jacket because Kelsey says she's wearing a jacket similar to this. And like I said, this may sound weird, but I hate when we wear something super similar because it draws too much attention to us. I love being a twin, but my whole life, it does get kind of annoying when you can't do like normal things when people are just, you know, paying too much attention to you. That probably sounds so weird. I just don't like attention like that. I just wanna go to the movies and just, you know, in peace. So, not wearing this one, not trying to dress alike. But I do love this coat. It's gonna be my new favorite coat, not gonna lie. And it's not black, so that's a miracle. Still gonna wear my Zara one because I'm really excited about this jacket. Before buying this one, I didn't have any brown bombers. All of my leather jackets are black. And I think I have like one like cognac, like whiskey color, but I don't have a brown one like this. And I also love that the collar, well you probably can't see it because my hair is in the way, but the collar is also black, so compliments the black that I'm wearing. I'm just wearing some Zara like baggy black jeans. And I'm gonna wear my mini Uggs because these are very comfy and movie appropriate. Yes, this is the vibe. Baggy jeans, mini Uggs, brown bomber. And I think I'm gonna mix these two perfumes because I've never mixed them, but I heard someone say that these smell really good together. This is Kaoli Love Fest Burning Cherry. I think 48, that's the number. And then this is Invite Only from Kaoli Amber 23. Yes. Amber 23. So I'm gonna put this one on first and this one on after. That's also a good tip if you guys want your scent to smell more original, figure out which of your scents mix well together because mixing them is what really makes them last. Also the key to a lasting scent, make sure it has vanilla in it. That's just my tip. I don't know what to tell you if you're not a vanilla girl. I'm a vanilla girl. More than half of my perfumes have vanilla in the notes. Especially the base notes. Make sure your base notes have vanilla and I promise you, it will last. I haven't mixed these two before, so I'm trying it out. If I really, really love it, I'm probably gonna wear this combination on Christmas. Cause invite only, you guys know this is like my favorite like holiday scent. It just smells like a fancy Christmas party. So I think these will probably mix well together cause this has cherry in it too, if I'm not mistaken, the notes. And obviously burning cherry, so. That's probably why they smell really good together. We shall see. I'm gonna put a little bit more of this one on because as you guys can see, I have a really large dent in this one. I have to spray more of this on because it doesn't last. This one lasts way longer, but I want a little bit of cherry and a more amber tonight. And I'm an over sprayer if you guys can notice, so it's my life. Okay guys, so I'm all ready. I put a little bit of makeup on so I don't look crusty and I wanted to take some pics. I'm just wearing this really cute coat. Well, it's like kind of cropped a little, a little bit. Um, it's from Zara. I got it last year, I think. Yeah, I got it last year. This is day six hair, day five hair. 
and it actually looks pretty good. I tried a new gel that I'm obsessed with. It's from the Do the Big Papa gel. Y'all, y'all have to try the gel. It's amazing. Um, this is my first time trying it, and it's bomb. And then I'm just wearing this graphic tee with Bob Marley on it. Um, I got this a while ago from the Vintage T-shirt shop in LA. So I got this in store. Um, so if you live in or near LA, do they still have the Vintage T-shirt shop? I'm pretty sure they do. They have like some of the dopest t-shirts in there that you can only find in store. So whenever we make it back to LA, I'm gonna go back and get more. And then I'm just wearing some fleece leggings because it's cold outside. And then I'm just gonna put on my short Uggs. Cause like I said, it's cold. And then I put socks on too. Cause I normally don't always wear socks with my Uggs, but it's too cold. Oh, they look fine. Earlier they got a little bit wet because I had them on when I was putting out the outside decor. Um, Christmas decor and it was kind of raining a little bit like mist like a mist Perfect All right, let me turn this TV off. I think I'm gonna leave the tree on Do you guys leave your tree on when you leave the house during the holidays I like to come back home to my tree being on. I don't know why I just like you and then I'm just wearing my hauling bag and I think this is the numero un nano and the color Tan I think that's the name of this color. So I thought I'm gonna keep with this so yeah, cute, but still comfortable. Damn, they mirrored her even mine. That girl was so sweet. Oh yeah, it was the girl in the bathroom. She was so nice. She was on her second date, and we asked her how it was going. She said it was going good. He was she her. Said it was with her brother's best friend. Yeah, her. Yeah, she said he was like eight years older than her. But she said he's nice. But that usually means she don't really like him for real. Not really. Cause she went like, it was going great. She was just like, yeah. Yeah. She's not that excited, which is not a good sign. No, I know. She said her hair was pretty. Because at first she saw you and then she came out and she was like, oh. Look at your hair. Yeah. You know, the most compliments on our hair with people who don't have curly hair. Yeah, I find that very interesting. We do get more compliments from non curly haired people than curly haired people. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. If you have curly hair, comment down below who compliments your curls more. That's very interesting. Yeah. Okay. We're making good time. They usually tell us to come in like. 20 minutes, minutes before. before. Yeah. Oh, straight across the opposite theater. Oh, three. perfect. Number three. That's where we're supposed to be going. You notice the theater we in always furthest from the bathroom? Oh, I usually thought that was the airport, our gate. We come prepared. I'm not playing with y'all out here. I think I don't always wipe these down. I know. Oh, I want to see that. I need to watch the first one first before the second one come out. Thank you. Yeah, it's empty up in here. There's no one in here. Exactly how I like it. Yeah, everybody going back to work tomorrow. Well, we purposely picked today because we knew it would be empty. Because when we came to see Barbie, it was packed. So many people. Yeah. Somebody should be coming to take our order soon. Yeah, they should. Okay, guys. So, we just left the movie. It was actually really good. At first, I thought it was going to be kind of boring based on the trailer. Yeah, I thought it was going to be a little bit boring. But because I was when like, you said you wanted to go see it, I was like, okay. <laughs> either that or Priscilla, and we weren't going to see that. No. The Marvels was actually really good. So, highly recommend, but I do recommend watching captain marvel first because you will be a little bit lost they did a few flashback scenes but you still won't get a lot of context That's so true. yeah i think you should watch captain marvel first before you go see the marvels if you want to see it so. i thought yeah. the villain was kind of lame though she was every time she would come on the uh, screen you was like uh she wasn't game. doing it for me i wasn't like intimidated i was just like okay you're annoying so not thanos level for it i mean thanos kind of annoying too well most villains are annoying but some of them are actually intimidating. Like Marvel usually doesn't have good villains. I, I don't will think say. So either. Not to me either. <laughs> They're usually not that threatening, but um, it was really good. Usually with most Marvel movies, they start out really slow, but the pacing of this movie actually was kind of fast. Yeah, we wanted it to slow down. I was like, can y'all slow down a little bit? It's a lot going on. They had a nice balance of action, comedy. Out of a lot of the Marvel movies that I've seen, that one had a little more comedy, unless you've seen like Thor or something, because I feel like Thor usually has like a lot you of saw comedy. Thor? I seen the first one. You saw it, seen it too. No, I didn't. Never mind. I've never seen any Thor. Never mind. You didn't even know Tessa Thompson had an accent in a movie. What do you mean? Oh, not Thor. I'm thinking about Aquaman. Oh, okay, Aquaman. <laughs> got it, got it, got it. Sorry. I'm I was thinking... about to say you. We've never seen Thor. Never mind. I'm thinking about Aquaman. No, I haven't seen Thor. Gotcha. Sorry. <laughs> 
Sometimes we begin confused on certain movies that we've seen together, no, and then just got confused. Not movies me. that we've seen with other people, so we begin confused sometimes. I thought you didn't see that with me. <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> the Aquaman together. Yeah, we did see that together. Ain't there a new one coming out in December next month? That would be the third one, right? Or what? 2024? It's a new one coming out. Though. Wait, no, it's the second one. Yeah, the second one. Okay, but yeah, it was pretty good. If you're a Marvel fan, if you're not a Mar Marvel person. I mean, even if you're not, you still might enjoy it. If you saw Captain Marvel. Yes. Definitely see Captain Marvel first. Yeah, I wouldn't see it without seeing that first. I agree, yeah. Because some movies, you don't have to see the origin story to, like, enjoy the, like, second yeah, movie. Yeah, like, a lot of the X-Men movies, you don't have to see all those to enjoy one. Yeah, definitely. With X-Men, excuse me, there's so many movies. Yeah, it is a lot. Even though I think I've seen pretty much all of them. Same. The early 2000s kid in me that's like was always obsessed with x-men oh yeah with x-men they have so many freaking movies that you're good you don't have to see every single one to know what's going on yeah that's true days mm -hmm. of future past is still my favorite and then apocalypse what's the one when jane goes off her rocker is that first class it might be first class i like that one Possibly. that's my favorite one that might be it Sorry, if you don't watch X-Men, then you're like, what are y'all talking about? Yeah. I'm exhausted, so yeah, I'm ready tired. to go home. I think I might watch the ultimate Christmas present tonight to get my Christmas vibes going. I haven't watched I haven't that in watched a while. And I didn't watch it last year. I didn't watch it last year either. Um, Because usually the first Christmas movie we watch together is this, this Christmas. Because yeah. um, that usually really gets me in the holiday spirit. So mm -hmm. you guys let us know in the comments below, what is your favorite? like favorite first go-to Christmas movie that you watch every holiday season to get you in like the Christmas spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm just curious to know because I feel like everybody has a different movie because I feel like most people's answer is Elf no. or Home Alone. That's so true. We're Home Alone girls. I do Love not Home like Alone. Elf. Like so many people like that movie but I, never liked it. I don't like Elf. Oh and, and Lost in New York too. I prefer honestly I prefer Lost in New York over the first Home Alone. I like them both equally. But I feel like a lot of people don't give the second one enough credit because everybody's so hung up on the first one. Lost in New York is way better than the first one. I love Lost in New York. It's more adventure. Yeah. Because he's not in the house the whole time. Right. Exactly. That's why I prefer it. Yeah. Mm-hmm.